guys, this is Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of No Way Into Your Other Shelf. It feels so weird. We honestly went through the show pretty, pretty fast because of two episodes, but I mean, I'm still a little shook <laughs> about the ending of last week. I'm wondering how in the world is Haraka gonna fix this? I mean, with two episodes, can you really fix the situation? Who really knows? But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 23. And three, two, one, go. Ugh. I mean, but still, I think the way this is going to... She's going to be able to go home. Come on now. I don't know. We'll see. Nope, can't find it. I'll look for it after. But she's got to be able to go home. I mean... She could make a copy. Can you make a copy of yourself? Can she do that? I mean, she's... Essentially OP... Maybe? I don't know. What I want is just show 17-year-old you and Haruka and the day Haruka disappeared and got killed in the edge. I want to see that. And then him going into his press mode and then everything else. I want to see that. Please. Don't, don't, come on. Just show it. It'll be better to just show that edge instead of just telling me the context. I'm a, I like to see than rather than just look or read. Good after you get them. You just stay in the house and be safe. That to you. Oh, it's blood splattering. Let's go. I mean, come on, their kids are hard headed. <laughs> So then it also makes sense on why he was wearing a mask, because if he ever took that mask off, 
I think she would have instantly recognized him. I would have instantly recognized him. Not really. You just got too obsessed. And plus, he, you know, his voice actually uses a different voice when he's got a suit. So, I mean. I can't imagine, like, the dove cast watching doing this and be like, oh, it's like you. What? The cat. The cat is me. I read too. It's for your protection. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, the way they just did that for him, he, he's definitely going to be dying. If it's not in this episode, it's going to be in that next episode. Well, it ain't trying. They are surrounding you. So how in the world are you going to get past these things? I mean, you could just run. But um, I don't think you'll get pretty far. But I was. Is it becoming a butterfly or something? You're the only one who can save her. Plus, you also need to see your older version as the bad guy so that you can, you know, be like, time out, let me throw that white flag in.
with a circle or a ring. Oh yeah. You just don't realize what the hell you've done. Oh. I mean, that's a nice way to cut the face off. I'm just saying. Would have been funny if oil and arrows came out of it, just like for their blood, you know? I'm sorry, that's my horror, like my inner horror fan speaking. But let them try. That too, save Hadaka, but still let them try. It, it's going to come back. See, y'all are just drunk. You don't want to know. Then I go false alarm.
Oh, but this cheap gun could shoot you in, like, Never mind. You don't realize what the hell you're doing. You think that you're right about this. You're wrong. Uh, oh! Well, yeah, I mean, he is you, of course. Thank you. Oh my God, let's go. Had to be a car accident. She looks so much like her mom. Yeah, car accident. That's exactly what it was. And that had to be how to count. No, that was you.
So no matter what, there's a future for everybody except him and me on this guy. And then we could start all over again. We could try all over again with her and prevent her death. Does it sound like a good idea? I mean, pros and cons, apples and oranges. Okay, so now, after finally seeing the truth of Hadika's death, like, everyone's death, it, like, everyone who was in the car, because of you, like, I, you have to feel bad for him. You have, now after seeing it, you know and see why he's doing what he's doing. It's like, oh, God, this is so similar to Persona 5 Royal that it's not even funny, especially with the good guy somewhat being a bad guy and you're like okay are the choices and decisions he's doing is it truly right is it wrong for us to say no to him and back down against him to have a better future or a bit a better tomorrow and ish like oh i don't want to spoil persona 5 royal for people so i ain't gonna do that but i mean yeah the game's been out for a couple of months but for people who haven't played it yeah go play that game play that third semester so that you know the truth and yeah, they would probably come back to this video and then you'd be like, oh, no, I understand why you said that. But, ugh, I, I wasn't thinking it was good. Like, at the same time, in a car accident, I was expecting it to be something else leading up to it, but to be a car accident. And him being the only one surviving and doing everything that he could to find her so that he could change everything. Okay. 
that's interesting to call this episode the end and the next episode the beginning. It makes sense now. But, uh, God, I don't know what to feel, especially, like, what else can she do? Because from that preview, you know, he's embracing her, and it seems like they're going to make, to start over the universe, to go through every little thing that you can go through up until the point where they're reborn again, and possibly he could save her again when they turn 17. And it makes you also wonder, him as Kanesu when he was older, did he ever try to go back in time? to that day and try to prevent anything um, from happening, from Haruka and I and Izumi and their teacher from dying because all four of them died and he was the only one who truly survived, but also thinking about Miho. And so it makes you wonder, were they still friends with her at the time? Because if she had to be still alive for this to happen as well. But it, it's sad. It's really, truly sad because there were so many times in this series, in the first half, and I'm wondering, like, anytime when Noane popped up, I was like, why is he so much like this? Why is he so, such a horrible human being? And then finding out that he's you, and then finding out the truth about his Hadaka, and seeing why he is such in a depressed rut, and why he truly wants Hadaka back into his life, because without her in his life, he feels nothing. He doesn't know what to feel anymore. His Someone who he truly loved, someone who he really wanted to see the rest of his life with growing old is gone. How do you live after that? You know, you can still live for that person, but it's just not the same. You feel empty. And so that's what he's truly felt, even up until now, even having um, the younger Haruka in front of him. He feels like a little like slimmer of hope, but like in an instant. She could go away and he could feel depressed all over again. Same thing with the current you as of right now. Um, our younger you. Anytime when Haruka had to like, was kidnapped, disappear or anything, he felt depressed about it. And he was upset. But then when he when she came back, he was happy and everything. So, I mean, it's just, it's a little, mm, mm, it's just complicated right now. And with one episode left, I'm like, how in the world can you end this with, 24 25 minutes <laughs> oh, i'm scared <sighs> excuse me didn't mean to yawn but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for the final episode all right final episode in three two one go okay good no opening you don't even need an opening today just get right into the edge. You would think Atkin would be here right now to at least help kind of thing, but you know, he's off doing his own edge, which we're going to find out what he's doing in this episode. There we go. Why didn't you just start out like that? We you went with you to see your future self ish. Come on now. Yeah, and also kill yourself, please. Like, 
Kill him. Kill, you. Kill the bad guy, please. Oh. Well, shit. No! Uh-huh. This is why you shouldn't have done this. Coming back to bite you in the end. Yeah, now when you see that, come here, puppy. But there are more than that. Ugh, freaking allergies. Oh my god. I got a pill, Chloe. Hmm? I got a pill, Chloe. No, I'm good because that pill will make me sleep. No, 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 no. <laughs> we know that it's going to do that. I got some drugs, Chloe. Come on. <laughs> no. I'm going to Come on. No. Legal. No. Just don't complain. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is I can feel it. <sighs> Excuse me. There are many possibilities. Save him. You want a happy future, don't you? Same. Now, is the old man also supposed to be you as well? Because, I mean, that would make sense as well. I'm just saying. Because then that would make four versions of this person.
What about you? Of course, it makes the most sense. See, this is like the oh, what's that other? Not war, not only war of the world, but also like Cloverfield, um, any type of movie where the world is possibly going to end. I hope. I mean, sure. Because we got, like, how many minutes left? We got 14 minutes left before we're done with the show. And this better end good, I swear to God. Oh, she's blind. She wasn't in the car with him, so what made her blind? That's a context we'll never find out, right? Yes, uh huh. The more and more I watch this, the more and more I'm getting that War of the World vibe. Huh. And see, the thing is, he doesn't look at it as a bad thing. 
because he was the one who started it all. Because of the fact that Hanukkah's death is on his hands and he still feels bad about it. No matter what happened, because of this, this happened, because this happened, this happened, and here we are today. He might die after this. I mean, he's using all of his power. Don't shoot him, because, I mean, that'll make no sense. Phase three, what, right through him. Aww. But you have.
One of many. But Toby should be disappearing in the wall, shouldn't she? That's why you never make a deal with the bad guy. If he never forgot how to get none of this would have happened.
definitely going to disappear too. No. All right, we want final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts on this series. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. At first, probably episode one, episode two, I didn't think I was going to enjoy this series. I thought I was going to end up, like, disliking it. I mean, there's out of all the Patreon shows that I've done, I think there's only one that I've, like, by the end, I kind of disliked but not, like, extremely hated. It's only because of the way the show went. Why well, I kind of, like, disliked it. But, honestly, this was good. It was weird. It really, truly was. But, honestly, it was a good weird. It's different. I mean, if it... If you take the weird context out and not always think that it's weird, you really will truly enjoy this show. And I'm glad that I was able to sit and watch it for, what, 12 weeks? felt like 13 to me. But it makes so much sense now. I mean, it's a damn good series. It really is. I honestly would have to say. But um, I think if 2000 and f 2005 was when this came out, I think if 2005 Deja watched this as like at a young age, I was in fifth grade at the time, I don't know if I really would have liked this as much as I liked it now. I mean, this show, from what I had looked at from doing research after watching episodes one and episode two this actually did air on american television it didn't air on tunani or um adult swim and actually aired on um sci-fi the sci-fi channel which makes the most sense because of the fact is at that time even in 2005 um anime wasn't mainstream as it is now so you would only really see anime maybe on kids wb um cartoon network when it had, like, the Tanani run and then going on to, like, Maguzi and ish like that. Adult Swim was still airing anime, like, Inuyasha, Bleach, ish like that and stuff. But to know that this show was on sci-fi, because it is a very more mature as show. And you could see that they deal with a lot of more, more mature things than something like um, the downgraded Sailor Moon that we got that most of us grew up with, that people who are now getting into Sailor Moon or people who, like me, who grew up with Sailor Moon, you're rewatching it over again and you're realizing, damn, they really cut, like, a lot of shit just to make this, like, an Americanized Western cartoon. Even, like, when they did um, Car Factors and Western Night, that ish. And you really rewatch the show and you see how dark a show is. And even if they say, oh, this is a kid show, and then you're looking like, not really, this is... You seem like, it seems like a kid show, but honestly, it is really dark. But to know that this was one of many possible futures that could have happened and that in the end, that these two were able to come back together, back to their time, and to see that nothing has happened to her and that the 17-year-old version of her, you know, that's one of many possibilities of her dying. I really wish what they could have possibly done with this ending is to go several years into the future where she is 17 and to see if that would have happened again it's one of many possible futures it is sad that the 17 year old knowing Kadesu Yu did forget Haruka I, I was assuming that it was something else I, I thought it was maybe going to be his anger his remorse his regret of not saving her to make him become what he is at the end of this series but no it was just him truly forgetting her and still being, you know, upset about everything. About the fact that, it, in a way, it was his fault that he didn't save her. But it's a really, truly interesting series. Like I said, at, at times it was confusing. But I really enjoyed it for what it was. For, I mean, for a slice of life series. I mean, it's more, it gives me more sci-fi rather than slice of life. Because, I mean, when you think of a slice of life show, you're thinking of everyday norm things. Like any other slice of life anime that I've seen up until now. So 
I, I would still kind of really go into the science-esque slice of life if those two had a baby. This is what it would be. It's just like, it's, it's, it's before Steins Gate came out. This is a Steins Gate series before Steins Gate came out. And that's going to be my little headcanon of it, even though it has nothing to do with it. But I really, truly enjoyed this show. It was honestly maybe one of the like more interesting scientific shows that I've seen besides Steins Gate, because Steins Gate is going to be number one for me till the end of the time. But I really enjoyed it for what it was. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you to the series No Way Into Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, believe, give me a like. <clears throat> it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for whatever Patreon show I'm going to watch next, but I'm not really going to announce what I'm watching next because I'm going to wait until I finish um, one of the other Patreon shows that I am very close to finishing as well. I just got a couple more episodes plus a movie to watch, and then after that, that is when I'll watch the next two Patreon shows plus the working series continuing. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.